Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. And the pregame warm-ups wrapping up out there in Cleveland, where it'll be the Cavaliers against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for Oklahoma City, this is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. An intriguing matchup. Sports fans, thanks for joining us. And it's time for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining us. And the Cavaliers with some changes. AI comes in for Larry Nance. And Hood subbed in for Smith. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. One of the worst in the league a season ago, just 72%. So for Oklahoma City right now, Robertson and George fill out the wings. Patterson is the four with Adams in the middle. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. And he was one of many big names in free agency this past summer. Paul George, a huge part of that. But you know, Greg, he didn't take long to make his decision. Many expected George to maybe jump to the Lakers. Had been saying it was his dream to play in L.A. for over a year. But credit Westbrook and the Thunder. They, they won him over. He was one of the first signings in free agency to re-up with OKC. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Clarkson's checked in. And then for Oklahoma City, Merlin's Noel checks in for Patterson. Felton comes in for Andre Robertson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's George. It's rebounded by Cleveland. with the ball. 11 points for him in that last game against the Magic in Orlando. Here's AI, and AI throws it down. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one, Kevin. Tough to defend against. The Thunder with the lead. Shooter kicks to George. Over Corver. And too long on the shot. And right now, I, I think just his demeanor is hurting the team. His shooting's been off. And he knows it. And he comes up with the deuce. Close to the rim and having an intent to score. That's an assertive play from Rodney Hood. The Thunder have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Here's George. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal. Shooting at a four of nine clip. Such astounding shooting right now from him. He is untouchable from the perimeter. What a performance. Pass to Love. Stolen by George. And now a fast break for the Thunder. And it's George finishing it off. Guy's got some of the best hands in the league. Paul George instincts right there. Pokes that ball away. AI sets a screen for Clarkson. Feeds it to AI. Corver gets a wide open look. Again, the Cavaliers score. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Pass to George. Down low. Missile on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Now the power of Steven Adams able to finish through contact. Plus, he's rewarded with the trip now to the free throw line. Channing Fries checked in for the Cavaliers. Hossman comes in for Kyle Corbin. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Grant's checked in. There's the pick. And a wide open look for Hood. Knocks down the three ball. Hood's got five points so far. 
Uh, you want to chase Rodney Hood off the three-point line. He could be dangerous from there. And now we'll go to David Aldridge. You had a chance to talk with Coach Billy Donovan. Well, Kevin, we talked at length about how they plan to contain this excellent offense. He said, you know, our opponent changes, but our principles stay constant. It's about denying high-percentage shots and layups and open threes. If we can make them shoot contested jumpers, and they make them, we'll tip our caps to them. Kevin, back to you. All right, David. So knowing the kind of offensive team they're up against, they're coming in with the attitude they cannot let them get comfortable early. Yeah, that's right. On, on D, they've got to come out with full intensity, start slow, and they might find themselves in a big hole to dig out of. Seems like Coach has made that crystal clear for them tonight. He's got them ready to play some very aggressive defense in this one. So many modern offenses no longer rely on a point guard to initiate the play. Tell us a little bit more. Walk us through that, that process. I, I think a lot of teams, Kevin, are, are getting more towards motion offenses, almost playing in a secondary break where you either coming off a score, you're coming down the floor, the point guard gets off the ball, and with all the players moving around and with the multifaceted skill set of your small forward and your power forward who's now playing at the point, distributing the ball, setting screens, DHO, because of that skill set, you don't really have the heavy reliance on point guard domination with the basketball, setting up every play, and being the only playmaker on the floor. Now you have three and sometimes four getting that job done. The Cavaliers trail by three. They set the pick. And here's Clarkson taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. The offensive rebound. He gets it in there. And that's now six points for AI. Bucket earned, out muscling and out hustling everybody for the rebound. Schroeder outside. Felton kicks to Grant. Three pointer. And it's AI with the rebound. AI's got three rebounds so far in the game. Osman the pass to Clarkson. Here's AI. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Yeah, defense timed that out perfectly. Love the aggressiveness. And they change the shot's direction. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. Well, it fires up your teammates and the fans when you make plays like that out in the open court and explosive. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead, up by one. We have all seen the incredible dunk. Here's what AI had to say. You know, the funny thing about that is that when it happened, I didn't even think about how big it was going to be. Yeah, and the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. AI is checked in for Ante Zizic. Love comes in for Channing Fry. Hood's checked in for J.R. Smith. And it's Corver in for Jetty Osman. And then for Oklahoma City. Steven Adams is checked in for Patterson. Paul George comes in for Grant. And it's Felton in for Dennis Schroeder. Taking a look at the Thunder. Nerlens Noel is out there with Steven Adams. Then there's Felton. Then it's Paul George, and it's Westbrook in at the point guard. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And right now, Cleveland, they were obviously hoping to start out better. Still, too soon to panic. But lately, they've had very little luck and, and seem to be trending in the wrong direction. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And here's Corver from the arc. Drills it from outside. Corver's got it all tied up now for Cleveland. That's really Corver's game in a nutshell. The catch and fire mentality is what has made him such a special player in this league for a long time. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Russell Westbrook with two straight seasons. 
two of averaging a triple-double. This is a feat that we thought we would never see again. And Russell backed up the one campaign with another. Just remarkable. Stuff. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Count the basket, and it's 13 points for Russell Westbrook. Uh, right now, he is locked in. He's getting great shots, and he's burning the D in a variety of ways. And the Thunder placing so much, Brent, on Westbrook's shoulders. It's asking a lot. It, it's asking a lot. I'm not sure how much Russell actually feels it. He just goes out and continues to put up just staggering, eye-popping numbers. And to get where they want to go, uh, I think they're going to have to find a way to complement him in some way. And he's going to have to trust in those teammates in order to, to push the envelope a bit. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Hood. Here's AI. And another shot. And he lays it up and in. AI's got 10. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Westbrook against Clarkson. Now, here's Westbrook. D right on him. Got a hand on it. To the middle, Paul George with the steal. And they're on the break. And it's Westbrook, that time on the assist by George. 15 points for Russell Westbrook. Beautiful execution from him, building off a great first quarter, looking unstoppable here. Here's Clarkson. And it's going to be a three-second call. With this break, we have a chance to break down with the assist been coming from tonight between the front and back court for Oklahoma City. And, and their guards have been the ones to really set the tone here tonight with their ability to create shots. You talk about the big fellas. They love to play with guards who try to keep them involved offensively. Felton kicks to George. Good. And a nice assist from Felton. He's got 17. Pretty cool that Paul George came to the game on a rocket ship because he's on another planet right now. The Cavaliers trail by five. Now Clarkson, AI, Love, the rebound by Steven Adams. And oh, here we go with George. Nobody back. Yeah, Paul George not waiting around, wanting to get out in transition, run the floor, and become a dangerous weapon on the perimeter. Clarkson kicks to Corbin. Knocked loose. Pass to AI. Now here's Clarkson. Outside hood. To the inside, pocket six. He got right to the cup using that screen. AI's got four points now in the quarter. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Gets that one through the hole, make him now seven of 13 in this game. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there, carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's the Thunder. Thank you, Kevin. Wow, rebounding tonight, big part of your game. How have you had such an impact on the glass? All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The second half just about to get going here. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. A platoon swap here for Cleveland, and then for Oklahoma City. Noel's checked in for Steven Adams. Felton comes in for Roberson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's AI. That shot is off. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way.
this their first chance this season playing the Cavaliers. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them, and I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. They've got Jordan Clarkson, Channing Fry out there with Smith. Then it's AI, and it's Osman in at the two. That's the five for Cleveland right now. One thing I like about Adam Silver, he is always looking to break new ground, push the envelopes, and develop new areas of innovation. Well, always forward thinking, and, and of course, this league has always done that. Adam has found a, a new position in the league, having a, a chief innovation officer right. in place, somebody that's always examining not only how things are going in the league and maybe being adaptable to change, but examining what's going on worldwide. And you always see the way the league tinkers with and toys with Summer League and the way the G League competition sets up in order to try to find more ways to make the game more enjoyable or more accessible to the fan base. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. You look at the roster turnover that the Cavs have had the last few seasons. A lot of trades made, some hits and some misses. And you know the front office willing to make some deals to try to get this train back on the right track. Schroeder passes to Noel. Kicks it out to Schroeder. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. A nice shot by George. Just don't touch him right now, okay? You're going to burn yourself. The guy is on fire. Cavaliers shooting well. They're at 45%. Clarkson dishes to AI. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. That's on Patrick Patterson. Yeah, the defender all over him. Two shots. And both free throws good for AI. The Thunder Brent playing with such energy. But shooting, not their strong suit. No, one of the lower three-point percentages in the league as a team. The free throw line also last year really weird. Uh, a big-time struggle for guys who had career low years from the, the free throw stripe. So tough to win big in today's game if you're not hitting threes and then not hitting the freebies. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Clarkson passes to A.I. Comes up empty down low. Schroeder against Clarkson. Noel a screen on Clarkson. Here's Felton. It's blocked. Here's Osman. He's covered by Felton. Free throw line jump shot. That's good on the jump shot. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. How about the Cavs last year making it back to their fourth straight finals appearance alongside the Golden State Warriors. And for a team in a city that's just had so little to cheer and celebrate about, obviously LeBron James bringing their championship to them a couple of years ago, uh, ultimately the golden era of Cleveland Cavalier basketball. And that one's good, George. George has got 34 points. Uh, he's having a night right now. Credit to the shooting touch, helping his team with the lead. There's the pick. AI sets a screen for Clarkson. Offensive rebound. That shot is in, just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. And this is what happens when you fail to block out. Defensive rebounding just as important as causing the miss in the first place. And I bet you'll never see too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one. Yeah, just scanning the box score and looking at the rebound total tonight, I, I don't believe it. Shows the absolute passion he has for that part of the game. Schroeder outside. And George kicks it over to Schroeder. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got three assists now in this one. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. AI 
And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Love check in for Channing Fry. Russell Westbrook in for Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City leading by 23. To the inside. And Noel throws it down. Well, Westbrook keeping his options open on that possession doesn't force the shot and finds a man breaking free. Clarkson dishes to AI. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. He's had seven tries at the line, made five. And the first one drops. So it's both teams making substitutions here. That one misses. Here's George. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points from the field. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. So for Oklahoma City right now, at small forward and power forward, it's George and Patterson. Russell Westbrook out there with Dennis Schroeder, and it's Noel in at the five spot. Well, the inside game of Westbrook, very impressive, plays a lot bigger than his frame. Clarkson against Westbrook. Clarkson passes to AI. Back to Clarkson from outside the arc. The rebound by Patterson. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone to his head. He may be trying too hard at this point. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. And the Cavaliers call time here. Paul George in 2017-18 taking his three-point shooting to new heights. In fact, Guys are slimming down, it seems, Brent, to play at a, a faster pace. And we hear more and more players are using a plant-based diet now. Vegan-style players. Maybe not quite to that extent, but they are certainly very, very cautious about what they're putting in their bodies. I think we just hear more stories about some of the things that players are trying in order to get themselves to their athletic peak. And one of those things, of course, one of the most important things is the fuel that you're going to put into your body because that's your only tool. So I think guys just pay a little bit more attention to, to how it is they're feeding the system. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for the Thunder. Felton comes in for Russell Westbrook. Hill against Schroeder. Adams sets the pick for Grant. Screen by Adams. Grant kicks it over to Schroeder. Shot clock at five. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Here's AI. Good. The assist goes to Hill. 24 points for AI. George, George Hill recognizing when his man was open, an effective pass that time. Adams with the screen on Hill. Schroeder passes to Adams. Here's Roberson over to the left wing. Upside felt. Well, the Thunder, one of the lowest rates of assists in the league last year. Also, uh, a team that does not move the ball around all that much to gain some advantage with strong side, weak side movement. So we'll see isolation, we'll see pick and roll, and and very few passes in the contest like this. And it's Hill penetrating. Poked away. Now, here's Grant. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
And the Thunder had great talent, but their offense hasn't allowed all their players print to flourish at the same time. Why is that? Well, it's just a team that doesn't have a, a commitment to a flow style of offense. They, they have such great talent that I think the talent tries to take on the load sooner in offensive possessions than maybe the coaching staff would like. And, and they have great individual scores. That's what these guys have done in the league for a very long time. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Game is so wide open. Now, Brent, such a great face. Does that put more strain on, on bigger players? Put it physically. I think it's putting strain on everybody. Yeah. I think last year we saw... Regardless it, of size. Yeah, injuries yeah. To, to every position, mm -hmm. the key guys at every position. I think that some of the, the physical motions that players have to perform in games because they're covering more ground and in susceptible positions, it's happening to everybody. The issue with the big guys, Kevin, is they're not playing less of them are getting more important time on the floor so it's a it's a strain on everybody and one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight spirited performance and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the thunder it was a standout performance across the board i mean it was like watching a cat play with a mouse they, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted and so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Paul George. Well, he really contributed down there on the offensive end. Seemed like he was hitting anything he was putting up. Schroeder against Hill. Schroeder kicks to Felton. Patterson, the screen. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Grant gets a wide open look. No good on the triple. Six second difference between shot and game clock. And that one's good. AI. I really like the awareness, noticing that he's got the mismatch. And then he just used his size as his advantage on the layup. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Back to Schroeder. Now the pass to Grant. Outside, Felton. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they